Hello. Today we're going to uh, do a mathematic, mathematical methods. Uh, unit three, uh, we uh, have a look at the question of uh, applications of integration. So which is uh, a complex, familiar question. So let's have a look at this question. So we have a question here. Uh, particle is moving on a straight line. Uh, velocity varies with the displacement. According to a rule, is velocity is the square root of 4 plus 4s, where s is a displacement. So v is a velocity. So we need to calculate the displacement at time equal to two seconds if initial displacement is zero. So we have a look at the conditions we have. So we are given uh, the first condition, let me highlight it. So we have uh, this velocity in relation to displacement. So this is the given condition one. Other condition given is the initial displacement is zero. So we've got two hollow conditions, given conditions. But we need to find out, so what do we need to calculate? Calculate displacement when time equal to two seconds. So there are things highlighted. So uh, let me just uh, now to put it into uh, writing. So the first one, we have the given condition. So let's say we have given. So V equal to four plus four S. So we might actually simplify to a little bit of uh, easy way to look at. So if I take the four out, so you can see that the rise. So that means I can move two out from the square root. So the condition becomes two times by square root of one plus S. So this is the first condition. There's condition, another condition is initial velocity, or initial displacement is zero. So what's the initial mean? Initially mean initial means t equal to zero, or t equal to zero, the displacement is zero. So this is the conditions. So we need to find out. So what we need to find out is when t equal to two seconds, what's the s? So we need to find out when t equal to two seconds. So what is uh, the s? Well, this is the, the analyzing the question. So let me. So now our our aim is find the s in relation to time equal to two. So that means we need to, first we need to establish a relationship between S and T. So displacement against T. So this is our goal. But the problem is we're given the relationship is V equal to 2 square root 1S. So that didn't give us the relationship between s and time. However, we can see here because velocity is a different shape dis uh, displacement with respect to time. So we know v is a ds dt. So therefore, we can replace v with a ds of a dt 
equal to true square root one plus s. So now we're getting closer to establish a relationship between uh, displacement and the time. So what do I do is I'm going to isolate, so we can see here, we've got S, we've got S on the right hand side, so we've got S on the, on the same side. So we're going to isolate S. So I'm going to put a BS divided by one divided by S equal to DT. So isolate S onto the one side, leave the T on the right hand side. So this leads to T equal to, so we can integrate because DT, if I want to undo that DT, so I put a T will be integrated of two square root one plus S in relation with respect to S. So now if I continue on, so this will be equal to half root out from the integration sign. So I will simplify that into S. So now we obviously continue on. So we'll change the square root into brackets, become negative to the power negative half. So this is the uh, simplified version of this integration. So let me continue. So it will be leads to t equal to half. So let's see how we integrate it. So let's see negative half. So it will be negative half will be one plus half on the left. So it becomes negative two. Leave on top. So then one plus s to the power of positive half and plus c. So we integrate it to this format. So now we given us another condition, we're going to use this condition here. So this is the condition t equal to zero, s equal to zero to find a c. So we substitute. So t equal to zero. Oh, two actually, two, two cancel out. So this is a, let me change that to, so we don't need a half like that. So two, two cancel down, so become one plus S, S is zero, so we put a zero there, and two to the power of half plus C. So this gives us C will be equal to negative one. So this is our uh, C. So let's substitute into the relationship between T. So therefore, T will be one plus S to the power of half minus one. So this is our C. So now we're going to change back to, so because we want this S against the T, so we're going to change that C, S as a subject. So by doing that, so we're going to move negative one to the other side, become one plus S to the power of half. So that leads to so one plus S equal to T plus one to the power of two. So we undo that square root. So therefore, so S becomes T plus one to the power of two minus one. So that's our uh, function between S and time. So now we're going to solve when t, so, so when time equal to 2, so s will be substitution 2 plus 1 to the power of 2 minus 1, so that will be 8.
sa, sa eight meters. So therefore, so if I change the wind time equal to t seconds, so s is eight meters. So now we solve this question by just simplify. So using the condition of the initial velocity against the time, so we evolve, uh, change to s against the time by using Pythagoras. So a differentiation. So this is the key formula we need to know. Velocity is a dist ds divided by dt. So then we can change the uh, relationship between distance, uh, displacement, and time. Okay, that's all uh, for today. So hopefully you enjoy the, uh, the solution. And uh, if you like this this work uh, this youtube video so you can subscribe to my channel thank you for watching bye